Doctor, what's your thoughts on birth control pills? We talk about hormones. Mm. I mean, that's basically what those are. Right. Good, bad. Yeah. Your thoughts. Um, Dr. Sheely wrote the foreword for my first book, and he included in that foreword that birth control pills were abomination on womankind. And I didn't know whether to leave that sentence in there or not. <laughs> but they, they are. They really are. They are totally messing up women's natural hormone rhythm. The major, major problem, and so this is the women who find me in their 40s who have been progesterone deficient their entire life because they've been on birth control mm. pills too long. Because what happens with the birth control pills is it's stopping the ovulation. Mm -hmm. And the only way women get progesterone is once the egg ovulates, uh, what's left is what's called the corpus luteum. And that corpus luteum slowly puts out progesterone over the next few weeks until it's, it's gone. And then when the progesterone is gone, that's what triggers the period. Okay. So when you stop women ovulating, they don't get progesterone. There is no, hmm. There's no progesterone coming from the uh, natural rhythm of having eggs rupturing in, in, uh, every, it, you know, every 28 days. Mm -hmm. So we have all these women literally around the world now who are chronically progesterone deficient. And that leads to the fibroid tumors, the ovarian cysts, and uh, just such a list of problems. And a lot of women who find me for help who start in describing immediately progesterone deficient symptoms and they're just getting worse and worse and worse. And um, my first question is, have you been on birth control pills? And invariably they have. What so, are some of those symptoms? I mean, you just mentioned the, the tumors and things. And yeah, that's right. That's the major ones okay. because those are from estrogen dominance. And, the, and fiber tumors are huge and very large in incidence. Um, and, uh, what lead to hysterectomies because mm. the answer has been, well, gee, let's remove the whole uterus. And um, so, and for years and years and years now, we've had 645,000 hysterectomies performed in America alone. And a good portion of those are because of just fibroid tumors, which if women hadn't been on the birth control pills, they probably wouldn't have developed them to begin with. So this is one of the major, major problems. Is that something that can be corrected? If someone, if a woman gets off the birth control pills, can the body kind of regulate itself it, again? It depends on how long she's been on and the size of the tumors. Some of the tumors get very large. Um, I've had women who have successfully used uh, progesterone, natural progesterone, uh, and bring themselves out of it. Um, but I've had women that it just, it didn't work. So again, it's an individual mm -hmm. thing.